Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to discuss uh, the examination dates, vacancies, syllabus, expected cutoff, eligibility criteria for IBPS SOHR 2022 and 2023 exam, right? My name is Ramandeep Singh and I have been teaching for IBPS SO marketing and IBPS SOHR from last six years. So let's start the session with the important dates. Let me hide myself. So students, we can expect the notification in the month of November. Next month, we are expecting the notification. As per the IBPS calendar, the exam is going to be held on 24th of December 2022 and 31st of December 2022. The online exam for the mains is going to be held on 29th of January 2023 and the interviews are going to be conducted in the month of February and March 2023. Okay, so let's move forward. With eligibility criteria, a lot of the students are confused. बहुत सारे students यहाँ पे जो हैं confused हैं कि sir, uh, I have done MBA in marketing and HR. See students, if you have done two years post graduation degree or diploma in personal management, industrial relation, HRD, labor law, labor laws or HR, you are eligible. अगर dual specialization है, in case of dual specialization, you are eligible. It is totally okay. If HR is minor, if HR is a minor subject, it is not okay. Okay. If HR is a minor subject, it is not okay. You are not eligible. If HR is a major subject, you are eligible. In case of dual specialization, you are eligible. If you have done MCOM, uh, you know, you are not eligible. Okay. So please note that uh, dual specialization valid HR uh, is minor than not eligible uh, in case of uh, you know a PGD uh, PGDBM with specialization in HR you are eligible okay age criteria 20 to 30 years the cutoff date would be mentioned in the notification okay uh, age relaxation is provided uh, for SC ST category category candidates five years ka relaxation OBC three years PWD category 10 years, uh, ex servicemen 5 years, uh, riot effective, uh, affected 1984 ke riots hoye the, uh, 5 years, uh, domicile of Jammu Kashmir from 1980 to 1989, 5 years. Uh, itna jo hai relaxation milega. We are expecting 60 plus vacancies and notification in the month of November 2022. Okay. So, cutoff kitna jata hai for the pre exam. There is sectional cutoff. See students, this is the exam pattern. There is English language, reasoning and quantitative aptitude. Uh, 50 questions in English language, 50-50 uh, questions in English reasoning and quantitative aptitude. The cutoff tha for general category in English language, it was 9. Sectional cutoff, reasoning it was 8 and 11 in the quantitative aptitude. Uh, reserved category, mein, uh, it was 6 in quant, 3.75 in reasoning and 6.25 in English language. Okay. Prelims ka jo cutoff tha for unreserved or general category it was 40.5 for the general uh, for the HR officer. Marketing ke liye thoda sa kam hota hai. Marketing I guess 30 pe bhi aapko jo hai exam de sakte ho. SC, ST, OBC cutoff same hai for the pre-exam. EWS ka thoda sa kam. HI, OC, VI, ID in categories ka thoda aur kam. Okay. So uh, we are focused on general SEST, OBC, EWS, so in category ka cutoff dekh sakte hai, it's 40.5. Means ka cutoff, although out of 60, it is mentioned as uh, means ka jo uh, professional knowledge ka paper hota hai, 45 minutes aapko diye jate hai. There are 45 minutes are allotted to do 60 questions, right? Although 16 cutoff is mentioned, but you that won't guarantee you an interview. Interview ke liye, uh, see students, you need to score 32 plus for the interview. But still, uh, scoring 32 marks won't, uh, you know, assure you the final success, won't assure you the job. Uh, if you are scoring like uh, 30, uh, 32 plus a very good interview, a good interview, agar aapka interview bohat achha jata hai, then you can expect the selection, okay. Uh, and if uh, you scored like 35, 36 plus average interview, even then you can expect the final selection, okay. So, in case ki paper ka difficulty level is similar, okay. But if the paper is more difficult, okay, then cutoff would go down. If paper is easy, the cutoff would go up. 
If there are more number of vacancies, cutoffs would go down. If there are less vacancies, cutoff would go up. So this is basic common sense. Okay. Exam pattern I told you. 50 question in each section. Quant reasoning English. But English uh, one question of English is equal to half mark. Quant and reasoning one one mark. 40 minutes are allotted for each section. Total 120 minutes. Right. Uh, 120 minutes are allotted. So maximum marks. Jo hai 125. Okay. Let's move forward. Uh, in the professional knowledge, 60 questions, 60 marks, 45 minutes are allotted. So syllabus, I guess, uh, you, uh, I mean, a lot of students are confused with the main syllabus. We are going to discuss that. In the quantitative aptitude, there is data interpretation, data sufficiency. Most important is data interpretation. You can expect like 15 to 20 questions from directly from data interpretation. Then there is data sufficiency, number series, uh, time and work, time speed and distance, simple and compound interest, ratio and proportion, averages, mixtures and allegation, pipes and system, problem based on trains, percentages, partnership, clocks, permutation and combination and probability, not very important but still we do that. Uh, profit and loss algebra and quadratic equation. This is the syllabus for quantitative aptitude section. For reasoning ability, there is the most important ones are puzzles and setting arrangement. At least 20 questions directly from these two chapters. Followed by uh, coding, decoding, syllogism, machine input, output, direction sense test, blood relations, problems based on ages, ranking, data sufficiency. Then uh, statements and conclusions, statement and assumptions, statements and arguments, logical reasoning, alphanumeric series, inequalities, tabulation, analogy, clocks, nonverbal reasoning. Okay. And in the English language, there is uh, reading comprehension, para jumbles, uh, error spotting, sentence improvement, closed test, and the common syllabus for the English language. For the mains exam, what is the syllabus for the mains exam? Uh, students for the mains exam the most important the first chapter in any HR book uh, the HRM okay uh, that is the you know uh, book in every uh, every HRM book the first chapter in every every HRM book uh, human resource management HR planning recruitment selection uh, HRD strategies and system performance management and appraisal competency mapping very important training and development methods training is sorry management of compensation and benefits rewards and uh, recognition organization structure organization structure designs ob is actually very important it is a proper book i have already done a lot of research on ob management of changes and organizational effectiveness right managing interpersonal and group processes emotional intelligence and managerial effectiveness transactional analysis is very important industrial relation and trade union labor laws may industrial disputes act factories act uh, trade union act and conflict management collective bargaining and negotiation process uh, and then grievance management management science business policy and strategy analysis corporate evolution and strategic management cross cultural and global management international business environment right and then business ethics so business eth ethics is a lengthy uh, topic right I mean, corporate uh, governance and social responsibility, CSR, very important topic. Understanding society and social structures, very important. Okay. So we are going to cover each of these topics. Students principles of management is also very, very important. I guess it's already mentioned here. Uh, although it's mentioned just as management science, principles of management is really, really important. So students IBPS SO HR course, we are doing it on bank exams today.com. In this course, we are providing video classes, the notes that is series for the pre as well as for the mains exam, complete coverage of the syllabus. We are also providing test series for the pre and the mains exam as well. So there are chapter wise test series, systematic study plan and interview preparation guidance is included in the course. So uh, the link to the free demo is available in the description. Although we provide free demos on this YouTube channel, you can directly join the course on bankexamstudy.com. In case of any doubt, you can drop a WhatsApp message. This is our WhatsApp number. You can drop a WhatsApp message and we are going to answer all your doubts, right? List of our successful students who cracked the SO marketing and HR exams in 2022. All these students who cracked the uh, SO exams in the previous four years. I'm really, really happy for them. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams in the last four years. And in case of any doubt, please ask your doubts. Uh, 
you can post a comment or you can drop a whatsapp message we are going to answer your doubts and that's actually all for today students i hope you like the uh, the session in case of any doubt ask your doubt subscribe the channel and like this video that's really really important for me thank you and have a very very nice day bye bye